hype song text. What do you mean? It's like, 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 it's
these cars run approximately 80 to 90 miles an hour. So, a so if a car doesn't do exactly what you expect it to do, it can seriously cause damage to your car, which is bad news. Um, this has been Mike Burnett on Tech Inside Tip on Inside RC. Ta -da. Hey, this is Mike Burnett. I race for Team Walburn, and today on Inside Tip, is that right? Inside Tip. Sorry. Ready? Hey, this is Mike Burnett. I race for Team Walburn, and today on Inside Tip, we're going to discuss how to properly maintain your car between rounds of qualifying or eliminations. First thing I like to do after thoroughly cleaning the car is check the gear mesh to make sure that all the gears are still intact and that the mesh is appropriate. Moving from the gear ratio, gear mesh over onto the belt, you check the belt's tension by simply turning the rear tires, checking every tooth on the belt along with both gears to make sure that everything is proper and ready to race in the next round. The next thing we like to do is check the rear wheels. We do that simply by holding the back tires and trying to turn them independent of each other. They should not do that. They should be locked down on the axle and solid, therefore making the car go straight when you pull the throttle. Next thing we do moving forward to the motor is check all the motor mounts, motor bolts, make sure that they're tight, secure, not broken, and ready so that the car will be good and sound when you pull the throttle in the next round of qualifying. Next thing we do is move forward to the tank, the receiver, the servo, all the way forward, checking all the steering, Make sure the wheels and tires are free to roll. Basically, you have to go over the whole car. These cars run approximately 80 miles an hour, and crashing one can be quite costly. So I hope this has helped you. Basically, though, just go over your whole car and make sure that everything's good. My name is Mike Burnett. This has been your Inside Tip on Inside RC. Three, two, one, hey, this is Mike Burnett. I race for Team Walburn, and today on Inside Tech, we're going to talk about Inside. Hey, my name is Mike Burnett. I race for Team Walburn, and today on Inside Tip, we're going to talk about how to properly maintain your car between rounds. First thing I like to do after thoroughly cleaning the car is start at the gear mesh. Make sure that the mesh has a little bit of slop in it, just enough so that the, the gears spin freely. While doing this, we check every gear to make sure that nothing has been chipped off or in any way damaged in the last time we ran the car. Moving on from the gears, we move to the belt. This is a belt drive system. The rear belt must have proper tension on it. We check that by moving the belt up and down. We move rear tires round and round, looking at the belt drive, making sure that all the teeth are on the belt, that all the teeth are on the gears, and that nothing has been damaged in that area. The next thing we like to do is to check the rear hubs to make sure that they're locked onto the axle. You do this by simply holding onto the rear tires, turning them independent of each other, which they should not do. They should be locked tightly on the shaft, the axle shaft. The next thing we do is move forward to the motor, checking all the bolts on the motor, trying to move the motor physically, make sure that everything's tight, that everything's properly aligned, making sure that in the next round everything's going to be just like we want it to be. Simply just keep moving forward, check the servo by simply putting pressure on it back and forth, seeing if it's worked its way loose. To the tank, to the servo, moving forward in the car, checking the front servo, make sure that your steering linkage is all hooked up like it's supposed to be, making sure that the tires spin independent and proper. This will assure you in the next round the car will do exactly what you expect it to do. These cars run about 80 miles an hour at the finish line, so you really don't want to have a malfunction, a mechanical malfunction, during the run. There's always driver error, but you know. The main thing is to just check your car from end to end, making sure that everything is tight and ready to go for the next round. This has been your inside tip on Inside RC. All right. Hey, this is Mike Burnett. I race for Team Walburn. And this is your inside tip. Here, here. First thing we like to do is to check our gear mesh and gear ratios. We do this by simply moving the gears, hold one gear solid, move the other gear back and forth, making sure that there's the proper clearance between the gear and that the gear spins properly. We physically look at the gears all the way around, making sure that each gear has not been chipped or damaged. From there, we move to the belt system. There's a belt drive. 
We check the belt tension by moving the belt up and down, spinning the rear transmission, making sure that all of the belt still has all of its teeth and that both gears have all of their teeth. Moving forward from there, we check the motor to make sure that it's tight, it hasn't worked its way loose, or none of the bolts have broken. Forward from there, to the servo, to the tank, checking everything, making sure the front servo is still in place, that all of the linkage is still hooked up proper, that the steering linkage works properly, and that the tires spin properly. Basically, you have to check the whole car, making sure that everything is tight, solid for the next round. So, uh, okay, I'll just start right here. Okay. I got you. Ready? Don't shake your foot. First thing I like to do is check the gear mesh to make sure that the gears are meshing properly. You can do this by holding one gear solid and moving the other gear to make sure that there's a little bit of slop between the gear. Spin the gear, make sure that it spins freely. Then it, checking the gear to make sure that all the teeth are like they should be. Next thing I do is move to the belt system. Check the belt tension by moving the belt up and down, spinning the rear end. At this time, you should check the belt to make sure all the teeth are still on the belt and look like they haven't been damaged, along with the two pulleys, making sure that all of the pulleys have all of their teeth and there's no serious wear on either of the pulleys. Next thing we do is check the rear axles. We do this by simply holding the rear tires trying to twist each wheel or tire independent from the other. They should not be able to do that. They should be locked down solid onto the axle. The next thing we do is move forward, testing the motor, make sure that the motor bolts are locked down solid, not broken, or have worked themselves loose. From there, you just move forward to the servo, trying to move the for servo by hand, all the way forward to the front servo, make sure that it's good, check your steering linkage, making sure that it's working properly, Make sure that the balls are tight. Move the wheels, spin the tires, make sure the tires are spinning properly. And this should basically be what you need to do. Let's get you back up there. You're just sitting around? Yeah, yeah. Cue her back up. Let's take a look. Hold on. What I'm There's trying to do is uh, get you on the bottom. I'm just in the ice that I did something to the body. Go back up. Take that. Let's see what you got for a time. You're up to 50 plus miles an hour, so you're doing good. My, 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 Your my reaction time, time is good. My reaction time is good. I only got 27. You're a player. Mahoney, <laughs> don't get me to 71 being played, sir.